Hey, everybody. How are you guys doing on this beautiful, I don't even know what day it is, but it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Um, I am Pepper Thomas of the Hot Pepper Show and so excited. If I tell you guys, I'm so excited because I have interviewed this young lady. And yes, you are young. I have interviewed this young lady. Uh, what? <laughs> I know you're like, yes, maybe. Yes, I am. Yes, yes. Um, I've interviewed you, what? Three, four times? I've lost Yeah. Three. It's a lot. So everyone, welcome Terry Tobin. Hey. There's a hand clap. <laughs> hey, how you been? How you been doing? Uh, how have you? How are you doing during these times of COVID nineteen? Like, what's mm. what's going on in your world that's not going on in everyone else's world? Right. I mean, mm -hmm. it's been really crazy. It's it's been really crazy. It's all like the best way I could describe it. But you know, we all have had to go through adjustments and mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. make up for the lack of shows and and all mm -hmm. that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. But I know for me. I was just just trying to live, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like literally, yeah. even before I had COVID-19, it was like just yeah. trying to, you know, find the positive in things. I took up painting and all kinds oh, of stuff really? to, try to, to try to settle my mind a little bit because, uh -huh. you know, anxiety kicked in like by, I'd say by the end of April, 1st of May, yeah. I'm like, okay, this didn't go away in a couple of weeks like I thought, you know? You're right, right, and right. So I ended up... Um, Taking up painting, had a couple of virtual paint and sips with my with my girls and with my family, mm -hmm. even painted mm -hmm. with my granny. <laughs> um, nice. Just to try to have some sense of peace, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, the downside is, like in April, I did collaborate with um, Nathaniel Starr on a song, mm -hmm. and that literally was the last thing I wrote for a whole year. Like oh, I wow. just, I didn't have it in me. You didn't have it uh, in me, yeah. Yeah, and part yeah. of it was, I know now that mm -hmm. part of it was depression, and I didn't, I mm -hmm. didn't realize I was even in a depression. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But when I got sick in November from, well, from the surgery and then COVID, mm -hmm. you know, again, I was just functioning. I was doing the best that I could to survive and everything, but didn't realize that, you know, that took a toll on me. And yeah, yeah. people that I'm collaborating with kept saying, "Okay, we ready, we ready," and I was just like, "Yeah, Man, yeah, I don't have it." Yeah. But thankfully, about a month and a half ago, I mm -hmm. kind of came out of it and um, I'm ready. I'm, I'm You're ready now. I'm excited yeah. about the new music that's about to come out. Yeah. Um, even though the business has changed completely, you know, now mm -hmm. the focus is just about doing music that I love and mm -hmm. knowing, you know, sadly, I may never make any money do <laughs> with it. Mm -hmm, because of mm -hmm. all the streaming services don't necessarily make it possible for us to make any real money off of it. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, um, my goal is to eventually get back on the stage and be able to travel again and kind of reach out and touch some some folks. So. So do you think with, um, you know, with COVID happening, um, you said something interesting. It's It's almost like you it happened and you're like, OK, when is it going to be over with? Or is this going to be like a seasonal thing? Like. It's just gonna be like the flu. It's a seasonal thing, right. like okay, it's a, you know from October like to flu season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But in hindsight, it's not. Yeah, this is that's really what I thought. You know, I because they kept comparing it in a sense, even though mm -hmm. it was more deadly uh, mm -hmm. than the flu was. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I and I really did go into it thinking, okay, well, you know, this will be a couple of weeks, and I was all excited. A lot of creatives mm -hmm. I knew were excited, and we were, you know preparing to do these virtual concerts and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all of this. You see, I have done not one yeah, yeah, <laughs> virtual yeah. concert this whole time just because after a while it was like, okay, this isn't cute anymore. Yeah, it, it, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was not a good time. It was yeah. not a good time. Yeah. Well, and I think that um, COVID has changed our lives forever. Um, yes. It's changed our relationships forever. It's changed how we write it's it's changed how we think how we speak how we feel yeah. it's changed all of that so it's going to be interesting to see what comes out of this as far as uh, the artistry of the artists who are writers and um what's going to be said you know from right. Those right what are they going to be writing because 
um, something needs to be written about this time. It, it has to be documented, yeah. not just in the history books, but it needs to be documented uh, as far as self. And sure. I can't wait to hear what comes out of that. And, you know, this is about the women this month. Like, absolutely, it should be, it should be about us every month. Like, <laughs> Listen, every you day. ask me, it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, it's about me. Didn't you know? Like, yeah, yeah. May 1st, it's about me. Uh, September 22nd, it's about me. Oh, uh, yeah. Every, every day should be about, yeah, because we are be. the foundation. We're, we're yeah, the foundation absolutely. of absolutely right. no, no procreation without us. It's impossible. So true. It is literally impossible. Um, one of the songs that um, I so enjoy by you that is about women you know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. Yes, I know where you're going. <laughs> where I'm going. Where I'm going. And even though you know, I I I could uh hold it right there. Uh, you know, you know, we live and anything happens on the Hot Pepper Show. You know, I just have yes, to get absolutely. up and, and and I'm glad that I have pants on because if I was getting up and I didn't have anything <laughs> if you on the bottom, and you did it'd be like be a problem. Oh, exactly. So um. You know, you can sing a tune. You know how you sing in the grocery store. Sing right quick. I got something for you. Sing, sing, sing right quick. Sing a tune. Sing a tune. Thank you. Deborah, you are funny. Oh my God. So I'm just supposed to just sing a tune. She is hilarious. But that's why I love her. I absolutely love Pepper, man. So, like, we're on live now, but even when we talk, you know, offline, it is always. It is always hilarious because Pepper is, <laughs> she's funny. You And you may not see it as much, uh, but she is hilarious. Oh, I know what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> she had to pull out so, the shirt. A girl, I had to pull out the shirt because you know, the shirt. Yeah. I, I, I thank you for sending it to me. Yes, ma'am. Um, I was trying to be in that video, but the reason why I couldn't get in that video is because these would not fit into this. So I says, you know, I'll just put it on the hanger and oh I just look at it and, it and it'll inspire me to lose some weight, okay, hey. in, in this area. But you know what? And if not, I can still hang it on the hanger. So that's right. That's right. Shout out to Tony Smith, who that is, hey. that is the movement that she started with those t-shirts. So you can yes. go to the I Know My Worth Movement uh, .com to order a t-shirt if you want one for yourself. But she um, she gifted us those that participated in, in the music video for I Know My Worth uh -huh. with the T-shirt. And um, man, but I got to tell you, I got to tell you, you know, I reached out to a lot of um, other female artists uh -huh. that, uh -huh. you know, that we both know and maybe some yes. that you even introduced me to. Yes. Frankly. Yes. Um, and part of it is because, you know, the, the theme of the song is, you know, you don't have to dim your light for someone else to shine. And I, mm -hmm. I firmly mm -hmm. believe that. And mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that my sisterhood, the sisters that I know in the business, mm -hmm. um, had an opportunity to shine in the video also. But just like, you know what, just because I say I know my worth, it doesn't exactly. diminish hers, you know, yes. across the street. Yes. Yes. And um, yes. so that was that was the 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 um, the, the message behind behind the song. So I was really honored to have a lot of my sister friends that were in it. But as a sidebar, I had some that didn't necessarily feel worthy to wear the shirt. Let, let, I mean, can we talk about that for a second? Because mm, mm, there were yeah, some yeah. that wanted to participate, yeah. but they were like, man, would I be lying if I said I know my worth and I really don't? So mm -hmm. the, the fact of the matter is we all go through things and mm -hmm, we go through mm -hmm. phases where maybe our actions aren't necessarily showing that we right. know our worth be it by being right. in a relationship we don't need to be in. Right, uh, right, 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 right. I've, you know, I've been there. And uh -huh, so, uh -huh, um, uh -huh. so it was really powerful. So like, even though there were some women that had the shirts but didn't participate, the uh -huh. conversations that it opened up uh -huh. and the sisterhoods that grew from those conversations uh -huh, was so uh -huh. powerful to me. So mm -hmm. shout out to those women. You know who you are. Mm -hmm. And um, they're my sisters for life. And right. it really, really um, forced us to have these, these tough conversations. Because yes. the truth yes. is, I wrote that song, or I started writing that song, you know, some time before I even released it. And I kind mm -hmm. of sat on it for a while because I too didn't feel like I knew my worth. And I'm like, man, mm -hmm. I would be a fraud if I put it out. Mm -hmm. And I truly didn't know my worth, but mm -hmm. honey, by the time mm -hmm. I put it out, I was like, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. I know my worth. Yeah. We yeah. know this. 
Do you yeah. know this? And, and, and just so you know, I know my worth. <laughs> I just couldn't get in the shirt. So I know my worth. I know that I am worthy, but yes, Lord. I just yes, couldn't. Lord. See, when you, when, you, when you try a shirt, you do this, <laughs> right? Yes, ma'am. You take this like this, but it's like, oh, well, it won't stretch. But the hanger looks great. So I thank you. <laughs> it, honey, it's still cute. It's still cute. <laughs> it sure is. Thank you so much. Yes. So with that being said, let's let's yes. play I Know My Worth yes. so, so they can know okay. what you are talking about and, and how it feels. Everyone, this is Terry Tobin with um I I Know My Worth. And in case you don't know it, you know, we hope that this song will inspire you to to know it. Cause yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. It's, Yes, yes, yes. Okay, everyone, here it is. I know my <laughs> worth, Miss Terry Tobin. Check it out. <laughs> I know you laughing at me. Yes, 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 girl. I know my worth. That's right. I know my worth. I know my worth. Love it, love it, love it. Everyone, Terry Tobin. And and where can they look into the shirt? If you'd like to get the shirt, you can go to I know my worth movement.com. Um, you can order your shirt from there. Ms. Tony Smith is the um, creator of the shirts and she has other, other shirts in her line. And um, yeah, shout out to her. She's about to make the journey to Houston as a matter of fact. So uh, sending her traveling grace and um, the movement continues. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you yeah. so much. So when, um, how important is writing to you about your life experiences? Is it is it um, sometimes it's not easy for people to sing about themselves or mm -hmm. to write about themselves. They would rather mm -hmm. sing other people's uh, product or music. Right. How easy is it for you? Would you rather um, do you or do others? That didn't sound right, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. <what> you <laughs> That's a whole other show, honey. No, um, <laughs> no, I, so, you know, I started out writing out of necessity because when I first mm -hmm. came out, it was difficult to to get people to to kind of 
um, get behind what I was doing for whatever okay. their reasons were. And so okay. um, I found that, you know, writing actually just kind of happened by accident in a sense. Like I had a friend who has passed on, um, shout mm -hmm. out to Scotty Beats. Um, he was the one that encouraged me to write more of my own stuff because he felt like, you know, I'm only gonna be able to tell my stories the way that I tell them. And I can very exactly. well sing other people's songs, but you know, it makes a difference when you can actually tell something and, and the way that I sing is more, you know, I don't profess to be the best singer, but I, I, I'm, I feel it. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's, it's emotional, mm -hmm. and I, and I, I want you to feel the emotion behind it. So, mm -hmm. so from that standpoint, yes, I enjoy writing the the songs that I write, and and ironically, sometimes I write them and don't even didn't realize that they would touch people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because some of them mm -hmm. are personal situations that occur, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's also like therapy for me. You know what yeah. I mean? Because yeah. Yeah. Um, there, there, there will be some songs that may never see the light of day, <laughs> uh, just mm -hmm. because you know they were just they were just that they were therapy. Yeah. I needed to get it off yeah. my chest and yeah. and move on from it. Yeah. But there are times though that it's it's very personal, and you know I don't know. I just I just feel like especially after COVID and truly being grateful that I'm still here. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I truly operate from a place of gratitude, just mm -hmm. with everything that I do. So not only not only um, grateful for being here, but also just um, that I'm actually able to sing again. Yeah. There was a period yes. of time I didn't think I, I would or that I could because, you know, um, even after I had the major symptoms, mm -hmm. I still was having trouble breathing, still having mm. difficulty singing. And, and I was really insecure about it. And I have to say this shout out to David P. Stevens because um, mm. he had reached out to me about mm -hmm. doing a song. And I was mm -hmm. so in my head about, yeah, but my voice isn't what it used to be. And I don't know. Right. I don't know if he's going to want me to sing on that thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, mm -hmm. just give it a try. And mm -hmm. so I did. Mm -hmm. And that truly is what opened me up to, to realize, you know what, my voice may not be exactly like it used to be, but it mm -hmm. is what it is. And it's still the gift that God gave me. So yeah, um, yeah. that kind of started my momentum that I'm currently on right now. And, okay. Um, well, well, since you mentioned David P. Stevens, yes, and, you know, you know how we do. Since you mentioned <laughs> David P. Stevens, the song that you did with him is entitled, yeah. well, I'm not doing this to you, but <laughs> you know, Kissing you, Kissing you, you, and yes, you, ma'am. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yeah, I'll put your, put your cheek on the side. Come on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so since we're since we're, we're since we're talking about let's let's do the um let's do the David P. Stevens song. Yes, Kissing You. That is Kissing just you, so. Oh, he's so That's freaking what, yeah. talented. And when he showed he up is. with that song, I was just like. I get to sing that like it was uh -huh. just so beautiful so uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. very excited so, yes. and very humbled that i got to be a part of his project nice so everyone this is terry tobin well this is david p stevens featuring uh terry tobin with a kissing you right here on the hot pepper show let's check it out <laughs>
Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 oh, man. hey, oh, yeah, my pulse is what? Oh, it's racing. I was like, hey, it's, it's getting steamy. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do. Oh, it's my gosh. My pulse is just like, ah, 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 ah. Mm. everyone, Terry Tobin, I, I so enjoy, um, Anytime that we're together. And of yes. course, um, when we are outside of radio and outside yes. of music, yes. the conversation is just beyond, beyond. Yeah. Yes. It's, yeah. So I love you, sis. I love you I mean, um, to the moon and back. And I want to say thank you for being a part of my day today because today marks six years since my dad passed and I was with you. Yeah. So. Thank you for for being in my life, and uh, out of all the the journeys that I've uh, you know that I've gone through lately, you've been mm -hmm. there. So I thank you for that. I thank you. Um, well, you know, I didn't even realize that it had been um, six years. Mm -hmm. I think um, I think Darla posted something, and I'm like, wow, that was oh, that was wow. six years ago. She had posted. I think she posted yesterday a picture wow. from when she was flying out for that um, urban. What was it? Urban, the Urban Music uh -huh. Festival. Urban Music yeah. Fest. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So anyway, but you know, but just like you, there are so many things that have occurred in my life, you know, since you and I became friends mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you are so intricate, like you're so interlinked in so many things because of the people that you've introduced me to. Um, you always seem to... I don't know, no matter who it is, you're like, I got to introduce you. I got to introduce you to so-and-so. And as a result of that, I, I have met some really, really amazing people. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not going to name drop any of them. I'm just going to say. Name that drop, girl. Name drop, girl. Name drop. Name drop. Name drop. <laughs> well, number one, Calvin Richardson, because he was there with us that day. He um, was. He was. That yeah. was. Um, yeah. That was just for me in general, because I've obviously I've followed his career for so long and love his mm -hmm. voice. And mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Anyway, we won't say any more about that. But he's, <laughs> he's so freaking talented. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. um, so to have been able to have connected with him, Leon Tembo, um, mm -hmm. Latrice, yeah. yes. Mumu Fresh, who yes. is like, I, I swear, I say she, yes. she yeah. is like... I, I, when when I say I fangirl over her, she uh -huh. is just perfection. Uh -huh. I don't even know yeah. how else to say it. She really, really yeah. is. And yeah. I haven't had the chance to meet her in person, but she's she's very um her spirit is beautiful. Uh -huh. Carol Riddick. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. the list could uh -huh. go on and on and on with all the yeah. people that you have connected the dots for me, and they have then since become a part of my sisterhood, Deidre. Deidre Gaddis. Deidre like, Gaddis. There have been yeah. so many people uh -huh. that I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, but you you definitely were the catalyst to connecting us all. And you know, it's just it's just a beautiful yeah. thing, you know, for yep. for you to have been in the business as long as you have, and yep. you were just you're just a beautiful spirit, and I appreciate you so much. I absolutely do. So Thank happy you, Women's Mary. History Month to you because you're making history every single day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank you, thank you, and it and it takes it takes um, all of us because I, yeah. I can't do it by myself. It takes all of us and all of us to encourage each other, each other to yeah. uh, lift each, lift each other up, and because it's hard, it is yeah. it is hard. It's, you know we got to deal with everything, the emotions of everyone else upon our emotions, and trying to exactly yeah yeah. So Excuse me. you're absolutely so, right. Since we're speaking about women's, whoops, mm -hmm. I want girl, thank you, because I was like, I know we probably ain't supposed to be, but you know what? Hey, we should be able to drink cheers. and we drink some wine. Hold on, look at cheers, cheers, girl, cheers, cheers. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Woo. So I know, uh, hey Ray. <laughs> 
Ray. <laughs> oh, so, man. Uh, let's, uh, tell us about the song that we're about to play and the history behind it and the emotion behind mm -hmm. it and, of course, the love behind it. So, um, I first of all, I appreciate you taking this platform to allow me to talk about this particular mm -hmm. song. Um, mm -hmm. It will go on my upcoming album called Forever, but it's pretty special to me because, you know, like you were saying, n you know, none of us would be here without the the, matri the, the, the matriarchs in our family. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I had the privilege of knowing my great grandmother. And, um, and I know, well, I found out later that not everybody had the opportunity to know their great grandmother or whatever mm -hmm. they called her, Big Mama or Mm -hmm. the deer mm -hmm. or whatever they didn't have the opportunity to to, to know mm -hmm. them personally and and i did mm -hmm. and um you know as a little girl um she would meet me after i got out of you know kindergarten first grade she'd be there to pick me up and walk mm -hmm. me home from from the um from the school and you know mm -hmm. those types of moments people don't realize what you miss out on when you spend right. time when you spend time with that generation and even now mm -hmm. thinking about the things that they've seen, like even my, my grandmother who's 94, right. the things that she's seen, the fact that she's mm -hmm. actually been able to, to be alive to see a female mm -hmm. vice president of mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. Of color, yeah. And exactly. Exactly. so those are the kind of things that I think about. And I cherish my relationship with, with my elders mm -hmm. uh, beyond words. And so at any rate, um, I had started writing this song a couple of years ago and you know due to some things that happened in my own life i just kind of mm -hmm. shut it down didn't really do a whole lot of music and i just decided that once I, my momentum started picking back up again that i wanted to do something to celebrate her to celebrate my great grandmother florida mm -hmm. williams she um you know she had the kind of relationship with all of us that we all thought we were special and it mm -hmm. wasn't until mm -hmm. she passed mm -hmm that we all realize we weren't special. We all had that <laughs> special connection with her. And because everybody that got to the only speak one. about her was like, oh, and I was her special such and such. And it was like, we all were. What do you mean? You know? Exactly. Um, so anyway, but it was at her service, her funeral, which was, uh, I believe, 1999 mm -hmm. or 2000. Um, it was at her service that I heard the story of my Uncle James, Mm -hmm. who he's the other musician in the family mm -hmm. and he plays the sax and I know that you know he's 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 one of 10 children and mm -hmm. he wanted to play the sax and the family couldn't afford to to get the sax and right. my great grandmother did whatever she had to do to make sure that boy got his sax oh, and wow. so when it came time to prepare to do this song I thought no one no one else should be on there but my uncle James who you'll hear mm -hmm. featured on sax on the album. But what's also special about this is that um, she was also, she she did praise and worship in the morning. She'd wake up in the morning singing. You would know she was awake because she you could hear her in the other room singing. Wow. And her hymnals and songs that she made up. And at one point she told me that she wanted me to record her because she had some ideas for some songs that mm -hmm. she, she was sitting, her words were, I'm sitting on a hit. And I wanted, to, <laughs> so she wanted me to record her and write down these songs so that one day maybe I'd be able to do something with it. So oh, wow. this isn't one of those songs, but mm -hmm. I did take some of her audio from that, from that special moment that I had with her and I added it to this song. And so um, it is, it's definitely a labor of love to, um, to be able to pull together my tribute to her, but also include her own words uh, on the recording, so. Wow. So the name of it is No Other Love Like Yours. That's right. Featuring Uncle James, who <laughs> That's I right. didn't Uncle realize James. was a real person. He but is a he real is, person. <laughs> he, he my real uncle. He ain't my play uncle. That's my real uncle. That's right. James Tobin. Yes. Shout out to James him. James Tobin. So everyone, That's Terry right. Tobin, uh, let's check it out. This is No Other Love Like Yours.
Wow. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for I grew, I, to share that. You're welcome. I grew up with my great grandmother. Um, my great-grandfather died when I was 20. He died on my 25th birthday. He was 107. Wow. So I grew up with my great-grandparents on both sides of my family. They would live to be 99, 101, 102. Right. And I just recently lost my grandmother. Right. And she was 100. So, yeah, I, I, I get the family. I get the, uh, the history that we should be taking in while they're alive because when they're gone, you Absolutely. can't get it back. So. So yeah, so thank you. That's a beautiful, and I love it at the end, girl. She said, "Until, until." She said, "Until he said, well done." Until he said, "Well done." Yeah, yeah. So, um, but you know, it's crazy. Recorded that back in like ninety four, ninety five, somewhere around there, and you know, at the time, I obviously didn't valuable it would be today. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. know, I, and I didn't know what a source of, of, um, and it would be for me in these times, right. you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, you mm -hmm. know, my family and I joke because I've, I've only played certain snippets of it to, to my family, but there's mm -hmm. certain things that she was saying, you know, in her songs that she was writing, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, and she meant that. Like when I say she always had a praise, she always had a praise, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. no matter what was mm -hmm. going on. And um, mm -hmm. when she was at her sickest, she still woke up every yeah. morning singing and praising, praising. And, and all of that. Mm -hmm. So, 
Um, I feel honored to have been able to experience that firsthand as opposed to yeah. having to have somebody tell me the story about my great grandmother yeah. and the things that she endured. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. so in tribute to her, I, um, I'm honestly grateful that we were able to, to do this song. Um, shout yeah. out to my uncle James, who um, he lent his talents to the song and I feel like truly made it a family affair, you know? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Uncle James. <laughs> <laughs> you the I'm real. actually gonna do an interview. Oh, I'm gonna interview him. He's. I'm gonna oh, interview nice. him um, soon, so so, okay. so people can have the chance to actually hear him tell the story um, mm -hmm. about the saxophone and how that all happened and and his take on it and that whole deal. Because again, you know people take for granted the stuff that they get, you know, unfortunately the generation now they're so, so entitled and so, mm -hmm. you know, just expecting so much and to, to have nothing. Yeah. And yet you have that parent or that grandparent that just right. went beyond above and beyond just to make sure that this person can have the instrument of his mm -hmm. choice, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that's true. People don't realize that's the true. value in that. So anyway. Yeah. So I have, um, Oh, we're going to get out of here in a, in a few, but I just had this, you know, I'll be thinking of, you know, while people talk and I'll be like, let me think of this right quick. So <laughs> I thought of this song because, you know, this is one of my favorite songs. This this song, um, in case people have never heard of it, you know, you know what I'm about to play. I know you know. <laughs> I know what you're going to play. You know what I'm going to play. I already know, you know what you're going to play. <laughs> I do. You know what I'm going to play. You should know I, should I move over a little bit to give him a hint? Um, yeah, you, you could. You, you want to move over a little bit to give him a hint? What, what hint you gonna give? Him? Is it over uh, my shoulder? <clears throat> it's over your shoulder. Is it right? Where is it at? It's right in that corner mm -hmm. with that the, with the heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Now, now, this is something that you just did. This is what you did. You said what I do. What I do. You said. Well, I don't know what side because it's left, right. I'm confused. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking Pepper's over here. So it's like you go right, right here. Right here. <laughs> I said, is she supposed to be pointing at the shot or is she supposed to be poking her lips? Like, right here. Right. I wasn't yeah, right trying there. to poke my lips out. Oh, yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. You can't like, help it. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, right, right there. So yes, um, this song, if I tell you, yes, when you first put it out, it would motivate me to walk around the track. It was a song that motivated him to walk two miles. I'd be like, I'm playing this song over and over because after the rain yes. and the tears stop falling, my favorite part, you will shine. So uh, that's my go-to song. That is, I need to, I need to bring that back out, girl. I was like, yeah, after the rain, after the rain and the tears stuff <laughs> on. So everyone Absolutely. shine like you, these, these songs that you come up with, these, they're like anthems that mm -hmm. hidden gems that people just don't realize because shining is priceless. Mm. And it's priceless when you can shine at a time to where it just seems impossible to shine. You know? Absolutely. But Absolutely. if you just grab a little bit of it, just a little bit, just a piece of it will give yeah. you the strength to shine. So I Absolutely. thank you for writing these songs of, you know, especially especially this one that I promise y'all, <laughs> I'ma try my best. Maybe in 2022, I'ma try my best to get in this. Okay. Woo! I'ma try. I'ma try. I'ma try. We're gonna, not, we I'm gonna, gonna do it together, Pepper. We're gonna do it together. Okay. Uh, now. I, I can get in it. Uh, I know you can. That would, that would require me to go to my drawer and my chest of drawer. I went over school <laughs> on you. My chest of drawer and pull out a few spanks <laughs> from top to bottom. And I can get in this now. I might not be able to sit up. I, I can sit up, but I can't I can't stand up. I'd be able to sit up. I'd be like, oh, Lord, Jesus. So I'm going to try. That's going to be my motivation. When I start shining, I can I can do it. So so hey. so how did shine come up? How how did how did you do that one? Oh, believe it or not, I wrote the song when I was in like the lowest. At the time, I thought it was the lowest point in my life. I mm -hmm. thought that there would never ever be 
the kind of heartbreak that I experienced at that time, I was really, really, really in a dark place. Okay. Unfortunately, there were other things that happened after that that were worse than that. But, you know, when you're in it, you think this is the worst mm-hmm. that could ever happen. But, exactly. um, but it was one of those things where, you know, I always talk about how there are times when I know that I wrote the song because I was the only person there. And I know mm-hmm. I had the pen in my hand, but I know that it's not mm-hmm. me. Because mm-hmm. in the moment when those lyrics and the melody came to me for that mm-hmm. song, I didn't want to write. I wasn't even, I, I, I was so depressed. I didn't even want to be bothered with music. And mm-hmm. I, when I tell you, he put the song on my heart and I, I was like, I'm having a conversation with him. Like, okay, but I don't want to do this. Like, why mm-hmm. are you giving this to me now? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I literally um, sat up and mm-hmm lyrics and melody came and it was like and you know part of it was you know a combination of my mom always saying you know the darkest hours just before the dawn and Mm -hmm. hearing like the things that my great grandmother used to say to me you know when I was little so Mm -hmm. that's where the the idea of you know after the rain and the tears were you know after the after the rain and the tears Mm -hmm. were Mm shine that's where the concept Mm -hmm. came from but it, uh-huh. it came at a time when I was so in my lowest point, didn't know where I was going to live. You know, I was a single wow. parent. It was so many things happening at one time. And, right. you know, he put it on my heart. And the, the amazing thing to me is to see other people use it like you to use it as a motivation uh-huh. or uh-huh. to say that they resonate with the message. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's just so amazing to me. But I know it wasn't me. You know, I had the pen in my yes. hand. But that was God. That's all. Yeah, that's all I could say. Yeah, it's God. So everyone, Terry Tobin, the song is shine. And it she says what it means. Shine. <laughs> so uh, hey, here it is.
Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> it was so crazy. Is I, you know, that was me telling myself, "Ain't nobody got time to be sitting around moping and all." You know what I'm saying? You've got to pick yourself up and keep moving. Mm-hmm. So that's so mm-hmm. funny. Every time I hear that, I crack up <laughs> because hey, man, I, I can't believe it. I left that in there. Yeah, I'm glad you did though, because I ain't nobody got time for that. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, it has been great. I thank you for being. Um, I thank you for joining me. Yeah, this is this is good. This is good for me. So I, I thank you. I thank you. Well, it's always a pleasure to chat with you on or off camera, uh, yes. on the phone, text, whatever. You know, <laughs> you know, you know. I'm here always, and I, um, I yeah. just appreciate you uh, deciding to to interview me on this last Saturday of Women's History Month, and yes. um, just I'm just humbled by um, your love and support, and I so appreciate you. You're welcome, everyone. Pepper, the Hot Pepper Show. Uh, the Hot Pepper Show with Pepper Thomas and uh, Terry Tobin as my guest. And um, give them a website. How can they find out, you know, your music, support you, and all of that good stuff? So um, you can find me on Instagram at Terry Tobin Music, T E R I T O B I N M U S I C. Same thing for Twitter. Uh, Facebook is the same, also just my name. Um, my website is terrytobin.com. The music, uh, I have a new single coming out April 2nd called You Are. Um, that will be available on all digital platforms and um, and also available on my website. Mm. <laughs> there she goes. Well... <laughs> So, can I tease them just a little bit? Of course. Of course you can. You're Pepper Thomas. Shoot. Like, what else am I supposed to do, right? Come on. <laughs> so, you guys, uh, this song is called You Are. So, I'm just going to give y'all a little bit of it. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'm just going to tease you a little bit. So, you will <laughs> you know, support her. So, uh, this is... Uh, you are featuring Dre King, uh, Dr. Dre. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Dre. Not like, Dre. Like that's, not like that's the only Dre. Dre in the world. <laughs> that's the only Dre in the world. No, it ain't no <laughs> Dr. Dre. <laughs> Dre King is like, a phenomenal musician, and uh, he played trumpet on this song with me. So definitely honored nice. to have him aboard. Yes. Cool. Okay, everyone. Terry Tobin, this is a little snippet of You Are featuring Dre King. Uh, yeah, as you know, yeah, okay. <laughs> Girls, <laughs> you know, I just, yeah, just, yeah, that's just me. I just do, I'm over here doing, trying to do everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Ray, Ray, Ray. I know. Yeah. They're like, oh, that girl is over there. Ray, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm human, Ray. I'm human. I'm human. I'm human. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So oh, here we go. Terry Tobin. <laughs> this is Terry Tobin. Uh, song entitled You Are. Fresh and new. The hot pepper. The first. That's right. Yes. You are here the first. It is. I'm the first. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> it's like talk about stopping that booger. Like, eh, no more. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you again. Much love to you. Thank you so love, much. Love, 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 love. I You're love welcome. you to pieces. I do. I love you too. I love you too. Love you too. So thank everyone, you so much. until next time. Is, until next time, and you know there'll be a next time. There will be. Yes. When the album drops, you know you'll be the first. Really? Thank you for being <laughs> me. <laughs> I have to be like, really? Thank you for thank you for thinking of me. Yes. Love it. <laughs> oh shoot. All right. Well, I it's, love been, you. it's been so fun. And I will yes, talk yes. to you soon. Okay, okay. All Everyone, right, we, how do we end? Do we say please? <laughs> like, what bye. Do we do? Oh, we go, bye. Like a lady. Bye. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye. <laughs>